Dunbar. Dunbar leading all the scores at this time with 24 points. In uh, rebounds, Bob, Gary Johnson has eight. Dunbar has seven. Third foul on Keating. That could tell a story later on. Keating has been a real spark plug. Dunbar's shot is up and good. He has 25. It's Madden is playing uh, Dunbar all over the court, and it looks like the other Orioles are sitting back in, uh, in kind of a box zone, a 2-2 two -two zone. Madden all over Dunbar. Dunbar breaks loose. Shot up. Good. Oh, my. Oh, my. Dunbar came on two men that time. Knew that he had a job to do. Stopped and put it up from 17 feet on the right side. Just tremendous body control. The Vikings are going to need more screens like that. Madden back with a shot. No good. Jackson the rebound. Ahead of Austin. Vikings got position. Here comes Dunbar. One on two. He goes in. Puts it up. It's good. Oh, another great drive by Dunbar. Gave a couple of little head jukes with his uh, body that time and went in on the way up. One. Two on one. Snellenberger and Dunbar. Dunbar. Oh, 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 what a move. What a move. How many times have we seen him do that this year? Dunbar has it, far side, there he goes, right, left to right. He's in the middle, top of the key. Hey, shoots, scores, it's good, and he was fouled. Oh, see, I'm telling you, Bob, uh, the college scouts who are in the audience tonight are getting a rare treat. They're seeing one of the great high school basketball players in the United States this year putting on a fantastic show. When he comes down with that ball, he can stop on a dime, literally, and go up with a shot and lose all of his defensive players. He's just playing a super basketball game. 34 points. A short rebound, Dunbar! Dunbar and Gilbert almost chopped each other's heads off. Dunbar came up with it. He drives. Fakes Madden. Spin. Shoot. Good! Woo! What a move. It's Madden has got to feel that he's said, what am I going to do with this man? 36 points for Dunbar. Feet in the middle of Next, uh, Dunbar is uh, 5 of 5 in the third quarter, 5 of 5 field goals. He's 14 out of 23 for the game. And he's 9 out of 9 as he just sank another free throw, and he has 37 points. The man is amazing. Jack, Jack Dillon says he's hot. Sterling observation. Rebound, scramble for it. Dunbar clears it out. 2 on 2, here he goes. Puts it up, it's no good. Gets his own rebound, puts it up, it's good. And he went home. Oh my, oh my. 39 points for Dirk Dunbar. Dunbar having, I think, probably the best night I've seen him have this year. Of course, I missed that Chippewa Hill game when he had all the points, but I don't think I've seen him at any better than he is right here on the floor tonight. And he's doing it against one of the top 20 teams in the state. 40 points for Dirk Dunbar as he makes the three-point play. The Vikings. Oh, Dunbar, wow. great play. By Dunbar. Well, you can talk about offensively, but defensively, that was the play right there. Dunbar just switched it right out of the hand. He turned over number 11. Dunbar, two and three. Foul line shot up and oh. gone. Oh, they're getting a treat. <laughs> Absolute treat by a great Dirk Dunbar. 42 points for Dunbar. Look at, Look at this over on the bench. And I tell you, the Vikings are fired up. Woo. First shot is up. It's good. 43 points. They take the second shot. He's 11 out of 11 from the free throw line. Wow. The second, he's got 44. 1,544 career points. 575 points in the season. He should break his own season record. By Killip, Dunbar has the rebound tipped to him. The Vikings go the other way. They lead by 15. Dunbar bothered by three. Rissell, he's fouled. Fouled by Mike Larson. And that draws a big response from the overflowing crowd. Dunbar's first one is through the hoop. He's got 45. Second one up. It's good. He's got 46, and he's, what, 14 out of 14? 15 out of 15 at the free throw line. The record is 17. And cleared out. Cadillac has it. Dunbar gets it. And Dunbar's still dribbling. And Dunbar gets around. Madden drives in. Put this should have had that too. That was fantastic dribbling out there. I think that will ice it. Here comes Dunbar. All alone. He goes in. He's fouled. And I'll tell you, Dunbar's going to have a chance to tie his record. He's 14 out of 14. 14 out of 14. Okay. He still may have it. Still has a chance. Because he's probably going to be the last one to come out. And he'll get the ball a lot more now. First shot is up. It's good. He's 15 out of 15. 81. 
16 out of 16 for Dunbar. One point away from tying his own record. Dunbar. And this will be it. As Haddon Campbell replaces Dirk Dunbar. And I'll tell you, the Vikings get off the bench and they really greet Dirk. As Dirk scored 48 points. I think, uh, Bob, there we go again. I think that's the finest basketball game I've seen done by play. Dirk has 1,549 career points, 579 this season. He has a chance, since the Vikings have at least two games left in the season, to pull in the fifth place in the all-time scoring in the state. For the Cadillac Vikings, they were led by their fine All-Stater, Dirk Dunbar, who scored 24 points in the first half, 24 points in the second half. Dunbar finishes with 48, 16 of 16 from the foul line, 16 of 28 from the free throw line. Probably his best game ever in a varsity uniform, only because it came against probably the premier team in northern Michigan, the Ludington Orioles. 16 field goals, 16 of 16 free throws, 48 points for Dunbar. In rebounding, the Vikings were led by, well, two men. Dunbar had 13, believe it or not, and Johnson had 13. So Johnson and Dunbar, co-leaders in rebounding with 13 each. 